everyone. I'm so glad that you're here with me. I thought that today I would share with you some ideas, some hopefully that you've never thought of before about playing outdoors. Now it's officially the spring season and spring is the season that comes right after winter time and just before the summertime. Spring is full of surprises like you can have a nice warm day and then the next day it snows. Crazy. Spring is full of surprises. Today I was going to actually film outside. It was so windy and so cold that I decided to film everything inside. Anyway, abracadabra, spring. Abracadabra, it's spring. It's written by Anne Sibley O'Brien and illustrated by Susan Gal. Here we go. Sunshine warms a patch of snow. Hocus pocus. Where did it go? A little green shoot comes into focus. Alakazam. Now it's a crocus. How could twigs turn into pillows? Presto, changeo. Pussy willows. Buds on branches tightly curl. Alice, Alice Boo. Leaves unfurl. A silent sky, then birds come winging. Mumbo jumbo. Noisy singing. Sticks and string look like a mess. Zim zalabim. They've made a nest. Three blue eggs sit there matching. Open sesame, they start hatching. Gray cocoons hide a surprise, Abba Zaba. Butterflies. Lacy blossoms, here comes a breeze. Whoosh and whoosh. Confetti trees. Boots are good for winter days. Bippity boo. They're tossed away. Look at every bright new thing. Abracadabra, now it's spring. And now I'm gonna share with you some ideas to play outside. One of which begins with our letter of the week, the letter Z. So the first activity I'm gonna show you that you can do outdoors begins with our letter of the week that zip, zap, zoom letter, the letter Z. And Z like zebra. Let me show you a couple things you're gonna need for this activity. You're gonna need some kind of a cup, punch a hole in it. I used a paper clip. 
I just opened it up and I secured one end into the hole. You're also going to need some kind of string, um, thread you could use. I use some plastic, like string lanyard. Um, you can also use dental floss too. Have you figured out what we might be doing? Here's here's the first part of the word. You ready? Z zip. Zip. We're going to make a zip line. So this is what you need to do. With whatever string you choose, put one end up higher than the other. So I put it here, attached it to a patio chair, and now I'm going to take what I've created, what I've built, and let's see what happens. Here I go. Went pretty fast, huh? Here I have another line set up too. It's lower, isn't it, than the first one. Let's see, does it go the same? Does it go as fast? Let's watch. What do you think? I thought that went a little bit slower, right? Build, test, and evaluate. Hmm. Let me give you another idea too. You could use a bigger cup. You could use something like a pipe cleaner too to make like a little hook. You could put something in it like the zebra or I have some cubes here. Whatever you want to do and just watch and see what happens. How is it different? I don't know. Is that faster, slower? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, have fun with it. So here are just a few more ideas for you. Um, for when you're playing outside this springtime. Spring is a beautiful season and you prob probably already noticed that there's lots of things coming up probably in your garden or in your front yard or in your neighborhood. Flowers are growing, buds are coming on trees. You probably noticed a lot of birds that have come back. Anyway, it's a wonderful time to go out and to look around and to really notice all the beauty of spring. So here, here's a scavenger hunt for you to go on. And it's actually a nature scavenger hunt bingo game. And we will make sure that your moms and dads get a copy of this so you can play. As you go on a nature walk, see if you can find some of these things. And when you spot it, you know what to do. Put like a little X over it or circle it. And when you get five in a row or five across, you get to say bingo, right? Also on a nature walk, here's another idea for you. I just took some paint samples from the hardware store and I made them a little bit smaller and I put them on a ring so it's easy to carry. And it's kind of fun then to, in your garden or wherever, to take a look and see if you can find flowers or things in nature that are this color. Like, let's see here. I really like these purple flowers. Not quite a match, right? That looks like a match. Hey, I found one. This looks like the color of sunflowers, and I know I have a sunflower in here. How about that? Doesn't that kind of match? It's just kind of a fun thing to do. As you are on your walk or looking to do some artwork, I went this morning, and on my walk this morning, I found some rocks that I liked, some grass, and I started to make a little bit of artwork. And See if you can figure out. I got inspired by something that I saw along my way. And these leaves and these petals. I didn't pick them. They actually were on the ground. Can you tell what I saw this morning and what inspired me? I saw a rabbit. I liked it. I like it so much that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a frame around it using sticks. I got those on my nature walk too. I have another frame idea for you as well. Oops, he kind of looks off kilter, doesn't he? I have another frame idea for you. Let me show you. Maybe you're already using chalk on your sidewalks and you probably want it. Some of them you're really happy with, you really like it. You could make a paper frame for your chalk drawings. Maybe invite some neighbors over to come on over and look at all my artwork. Maybe put on your sidewalks in front of your house. Here's another thing is you are in your backyard, maybe laying on your tummy, looking in the dirt for new signs of life. You can make something, I call this a looker. It just has a, it's just a rectangle shape and I used a popsicle stick. And just lay on your tummy and look in the ground. 
and look, look, look very carefully. Hey, what do you spy? Do you see a little worm? I see a ladybug. It's kind of a fun way to take a look closer to nature. Two more things. Here's one. Maybe in the morning your mom or dad could challenge you for this, to look for this. This is how many, and there's that question mark, how many purple flowers can you go out in the garden and find? Guess how many I found? If you said five, you're right. What you would do then is you would write the five in the box. And if you don't know how to write a five, that's okay. You can ask your mom or dad or older brother and sister to do dot dot for you, and then you can trace it. Okay, my last thing. Flowers smell so beautiful. And I thought that it would be fun that instead of just using a paintbrush, to use something, some kind of food that smells really good. And so can you figure out what that is? Marshmallows marshmallows and fruit loops. I took some fruit loops and I crushed them up and that's what I used here in the middle of my flower and I used a recycled container and I put some paint on it like a paint palette and I dip the marshmallow in paint and I'm painting with it. Here's a yellow flower I started You can drag it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. I then just used glue in the center and then put the crushed Fruit Loops in the middle to finish my flower. You know what it's missing? I just realized it needs a stem, right? Oops, I need more paint. Anyway, just some ideas for you. I hope you have a great time playing outside this springtime. See you soon.